Hello, all. Well. Do you guys ever notice how every now and again you come across something when you're actually not looking for it, or when you when you uh, stop looking for it? Well, I mean, I know I've been mentioning all the channels and on my personal profile. So for some some of you guys that know me personally, that I've actually been looking there for a while. I've been looking for an, a good Marantz receiver. I really wanted the model twenty three twenty five. However, a few of you guys, and um, like I said, um, I didn't really take it the wrong way, but a lot of people said kind of like try to steer away from Marantz and maybe head in, in the Pioneer direction, which I did, and I love my Pioneer. I bought the SX880. It's actually uh, driving my garage system with a pair of uh, JBL L100s, as you guys know, and I actually did not get a chance to uh, demonstrate for you guys my JBL L100 Classics, which are the updated ones. They're driven by my old Sansui here. The EQ, I don't even use it. I just have it hooked up because I think the Spectrum Analyzer looks cool. Uh, I'll do a video on this eventually when I have time because I want to make it right. And preferably, I want to use a... Think about getting one of those three-dimensional audio uh, cameras, kind of like that uh, Will the Trill uses. Because I heard the effects of that AC Meet video, and I was blown away by the sound quality. Anyway, uh, this is going to be my living room system. Uh, once I get, you know, the house to myself and all that, <laughs> it is awesome. I have it now. I don't run it in four channel. I have a bridge. There's an option on the back to bridge it for two channel, which is exactly what I did. As you can see right there, so you can run it in either four channel mode, which is 40 watts per channel, or you can bridge the front and rear amps and run it at a hundred watts per channel, which is actually bench test. At 175, not by me, but I read it on more than one, you know, reliable, uh, reliable source. It's not the original manual, but it does come with all the information I would need to operate this unit properly. With that, I'm like I said, I'm not going to tell you what I paid for. Obviously, this CD player I usually have hooked up to my Panasonic RA6600 for demonstrating, you know, and testing out different speakers that I get. Because like I said, one of the things I do every now and again is I'll take it, get a pair of speakers for free, fix them up, make sure all the drivers working, and flip them, or do it for friends and shit like that, upgrade and make sure everything is working as it should. I got this off of a friend of mine's dad, and actually I went over his house and changed out some receptacles, and I'm like, oh my, nah, cool, nice looking Marantz. And uh, like I said, we've been we've been like buddies ever since. Like he has probably. I'd say a dozen of these, not 44, not 4300, but he has like a dozen Marantz receivers and he's been clean, uh, thinning out his herd a little bit. And this here is the one that actually got my attention the most because, you know, bells and whistles, it just looks nice. And actually demonstrated it. Now, I didn't know uh, what these here, these are Snell acoustic speakers. I have never heard of them, but apparently they're pretty good and they sound, they sound fantastic and I will fire them up for you. They don't have the original jumper, so they're used like that for now. They're made in Massachusetts, so they're, they're United States made speakers. I have I thought I had that perfectly centered. Okay, that one I do. I guess there's a serial number 36268. Oh yeah, they're matching. Cool. Nice. Now they um, they're ported in the back. And they have a tweeter mount in the back. So these speakers are made to work on reflection. So I'm thinking, keep them... I see some work was done there. Maybe, I don't know. And right here too. I don't know if they tried to hang... They were made to try to hang them. Or if the cabinets got loose at one point. Who knows. Velcro to hold the grills on. Yeah, it looks like these were definitely replacement woofers. The tweeters are original, obviously. You can tell that. I wonder if I can find the original, original woofers. They look like eight inch woofers. That's what it looks like to me. So anyway, these speakers sound fantastic. And it's a shame because I really like to try to find the original drivers for them. If I, if I could. Get these back on. I'm trying to do this with one hand is kind of a pain in the ass. I said they're in very good shape. Can't, I don't really see a model number though, unless I'm just blind or something on the back. I see a serial number, 
Oh, I see. Type that's that is a model number. Type E three. That's a serial number. Okay, we're good. Then I have over here a pair of rare. I looked them up. These scrolls are heavy, man. Wow. And these things scream quality. I can tell you that the base and mid is very good on them. But I can't tell you about the highs. Because the tweeters on both sets of speakers do not work. Now, I find it very, very hard to believe that I have six blown tweeters. So I'm, when I get time, I'm going to take them apart and fix them. Now, I'm going to say these are probably the original drivers right here. No, they're not the original drivers. So none of them have the original woofers. Shit. So I need to get... Crap, that sucks. Alright, so I need to get... Four woofers somehow of the <laughs> that are original of these are you say they're Canton, which they might be good, but this is gonna bother me knowing that I have each speaker's a different pair of woofers. So I might just get four 10-inch replacement woofers of high quality. And these have Sherwin Vegas in the back. Now I'm pretty sure that's just a passive radiator, because I kind of find it hard to believe that they would put a driver, a bass driver in the back. Usually with speakers that have a uh, driver, a base driver in the back are usually passive radiators, but then again, maybe not. It might have three drive. It might have three mid and base drivers too, because it has three tweeters. Like I said, I don't know. I don't really know much about them, and there's not a lot of information online. Now, where does it say the model number? I think these are Norman Laboratories. I think they're made in Arkansas. I think. Yeah, Norman Laboratories Model 9. So I will try them all. Hi, Sven. It's my nephew and niece is, uh, I think it's from Frozen. All right, whatever. So yeah, I can't get, I tried this sorry, speaker protection, but they don't seem to uh, do anything. So. I'm gonna say we might maybe uh, maybe the reset on the back or the circuit breaker is bad. I know I read that someone over one of the pages I read about the Norman Labs, they had that problem. So anyway, thing is absolutely beautiful. And like I said, I it's a sin what I paid for this. Like I said, he, I, I they basically gave it to me. Like I said, I did a lot of work for him. Me and him, we've been on good terms. I'm good friends with his son, so I am absolutely honored to have this. And like I said, it's one of his most prized possessions, but like I said, he's he's not really too worried about it. He says he's got multiple other ones, and he knows I took a big liking to this one, so. And he did not have a 2325. I really like the 4400 too with the oscilloscope, but I know it's a lot, the 4400 is a lot more problematic. This one here, the 4300, seems to be the one that I read the most praise on. And like I said, I plan on running it in two channel. So, not a problem. And... and it can drive safely for ohm speakers. So this actually, I actually might end up running my JBLs upstairs and put these down here. Like I said, I'm not sure, 100% sure yet. I have to, you know, different, different equipment sounds better matched with other equipment. So I'll play some games with some speaker placement and stuff like that, and we'll go from there. But anyway, we're gonna hear some Emerson Lake and Palmer. I hope I don't get a copyright strike. Flat, mind you, I have these set the normal loudness off. Right, the bass up set. Everything is uh, right in the middle. Maybe I'm 
exception to the rare occasion. Like I said, I'm sure this phone does this, these, the system no justice at all. This is kind of why I'm really looking forward to getting a uh, one of those three-dimensional uh, ca uh, volume cameras like World of Trill uses. reflections, I bet you'd sound even better. Alright, so I can't figure out how, I can't pause the videos on the iPhone, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the, remote, the main speakers off and I'm going to swap them. I need to get the correct binding post because they have these jerry-rigged a little bit. I'm sure they, had, they originally had a, a built-in jumper to use. So but as of right now, obviously right now it's not the way it is. That was the left, so we're gonna hook this up. Looks like it turned Mr. Savannah over there off. So I guess like I said, I'm doing this one-handed. I'll turn these all to normal. <laughs> Thing cracks me up. Okay. We're gonna listen to the Normans too. I'm gonna use the same tracks. So the bass you can tell is better, which should be. It has no less than two 10 inch drivers on there with a rear facing passive radiator or potentially three bass drivers. It's a shame because I actually really like the look of these. I wanna get these, these working to the full potential with original drivers on eBay if I can manage to even find them. And if not, I'll get you know, at least matching 10 inch drivers of high quality, if, I, if possible. Turn these back on. I'll do them in reverse order. We hear Band of Horses first and then Emerson, Lake and Palmer second. Turn the bass to flat and turn the loud, the loudness is up. Yeah, turn the loudness off. Good, all three. 
beer, that's why. Selector switch on the back a little bit, so I'm thinking it's probably just dirty to the contacts or the overloads are half done. It would sound amazing if both of them worked, and this, this is flat too. Like, I have no EQ on this or volume adjustments whatsoever. set of freaking tweeters working come on I guess I'll take them apart and this is just a demo like I said of course I'll show them again when I get them hooked up in the living room Oop, crap that is not something I do sound right now if that, that uh, tweeters on the right set of speakers are working. God, that pisses me off. Like I said, I'm not even going to complain because I practically stole the, uh, I practically stole all this stuff. I asked like literally a dozen times to be sure he wants to sell it for that price. <laughs> and he insisted yes, so. 
amazing. Like I said, I am more grateful than I could possibly even have words for right now to, have, to own this stuff. So, like I said, with a little bit of uh, servicing for this set of speakers, and I'm pretty sure the woofer on this pair of Snell speakers is also not original. I'll have to do some research, uh, research on that and see if I can locate proper uh, replacements. But if not, I could just leave it like that. I mean, that sounds pretty good the way it is. Get one last good uh, good walk around. Now, I'm pretty sure these are supposed to have a uh, piece of glass on top too for aesthetics, but I'm really not worried about it. Putting glass on top of uh, speakers that have three 10-inch bass drivers on them what as loud as I play my music is probably not a good idea for obvious reasons anyway. So I think I'm just going to leave it at that. Leave it the way it is. But yeah, guys, as usual, thank you for watching. If you made it all the way through, uh, you know, let me know. And, uh, yeah, I should have some AC videos up again in the near future. So stay tuned. And until then, enjoy yourselves, be safe out there. And, uh, yeah, thanks for your support.